Oh, they got tanks. Marcus versus tank didn't go well. Did we just? I mean, no, he did not die. He... Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? I wanted to save him, though. All right. Fuck you. All right. You win. I just have to kill you. Mirror match. The things you hate the most. I do. I genuinely do. But mirrors are for from the television. Exactly. That's why I usually avoid picking characters I don't ever want to pick the most, like Scorpion and MK, for example. Did you just? Oh, it's gonna. We're gonna do this shit, aren't we? We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. Damn it! He just couldn't resist. We know about his son. Yeah. The other one doesn't. That's what I was thinking. What's their, what's the son's name? My son, what's his name? I'll, uh, what are our choices? Cole. Oh uh, yeah, it was Cole, that's right, yeah. yeah. Cole. Well, you know also because that's... Well, no, a, like if you said Cole, I would have, I would have immediately remembered. No, no I'm... It unlocked. It unlocked, okay. oh, that's so, it, so you, d no, like even if you didn't know it was Cole, it's like, oh, it's this thing. Okay, okay, okay. surgery but no human was available to do it so an android had to take care of him Cole didn't make it that's why you hate androids he did he was responsible for your son's death Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate he was the one who took my son from me I'm pretty sure you said that exact line before. I would have said exactly the same thing. He did that on the other route when he was trying to talk us out from sniping Marcus. Oh, that might be why. Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Yeah, but there's something to this. Or you really are alive. Oh, Hank really liked us. I'll make sure Marcus doesn't kill you. <laughs> I'm sorry, this whole thing just reminded me of that scene in Spongebob with the two Mr. Krabs and one of them was the robot by Plankton. They've... It's they've literally done, the exact, it's a very similar they, thing. They've done that thing in so many things. Yeah, yeah, so but it's it's because it's Clancy Brown voicing up. I know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's... 
I forgot about that part. That's even better. It's a virus. And it's multiple. They just have to touch their shoulders. Don't touch. Wait, but if Marcus is, uh, does die, his cause will live on! No. It was... He just got thrown back by the explosion of tank. Okay. Let's hope we can make... I mean, hey, Bruce Lee deflected a bullet with his face in Game of Death, so anything's possible. Well, that's Bruce Lee. Even Marcus isn't Bruce Lee. Oh, God, another one of these sections. It's okay, a lot of these are, are circles. Except for that one. That's what I was going to say. But now we have a rocket launcher. Oh, yes! Slow-mo! <laughs> oh, fucking love it. Yeah. Oh, we got both the tanks. Kind of fucked. Double kill! Triple kill. I think we win. The humans are abandoning the camp. We did it again. Oh. Hell yeah! And I only got shot once. It's the beginning of war. And we got Josh killed. It's a win-win! Today's a beautiful day! He eh? ran into that bullet himself, so... Yeah, it's his fault. Wait, where are we at now? Kara. Yeah, I was gonna say, okay, here a traffic Can jam. Canadian border. <laughs> All right. We have Luther with us, so let's let's keep these guys alive if we can. Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. <laughs> I mean, at least, at least Connor and Marcus are good. This is probably the last thing with Kara. Probably. We... Rose. Hi, Rose. How you doing? We're doing temperature checks. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Clara? I mean, we didn't switch off Alice's temperature thing yet Don't this time, so you sh that should be okay. For Alice, the rest of us, though, the fuck knows. I mean, that just what lets her. Feel the cold. Yeah. You risked your life to save us, Carl. I did, please. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. Okay, good. Yeah, fuck I'm... you. I don't care about you. You're not Luther. <laughs> yeah, no. If we. And it's not like we had to do anything extra. Jerry and Luther were just there. And it's like, okay. Wait, did we make it? No, we're waiting long. Uh, I I'm thought seeing... it was talking to us for a second. Okay. I'm seeing okay. if there's... Oh, we... Can't get through, Kara. both know that. I'll think of something. Dude, you're so pessimistic. I'll sacrifice Jerry. That they were so close. All that matters now is you and Alice. No, fuck you. You're coming with us, too. I'd rather sacrifice... No, we're doing Jerry! Oh, we're unlocking options. 
Okay, well, well we're doing the Jerry one. But yeah, Luther is our family, which is why it was. Which, Luther is our family, oh, which is why. Hold on. He's... I think a robot's about to get cuddled. Yep. We're going to the bathroom that we definitely need. Where the hell do you think you're going? My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. All right, now at least he didn't make a fuss about that one. Like, what the fuck is he gonna say to that? The little girl excuse always fucking works, doesn't it? So what the hell are we gonna do with her? That's what I'm saying. Gonna do anything? I'm looking in the mirror. <laughs> wow. Was it fun? Is the mirror world nice? Everything was backwards. I wonder why Tommy doesn't know his option is right. We're still sacrificing Jerry, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jerry's our first resort. They're searching for Antron's door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to on the other side. Yeah, the river doesn't work out so well. If you killed the other, everyone else, it's not violent if everyone else is dead. It's exactly. It's a genocide. <laughs> genocider show. The hell is a genocider? Okay. <laughs> Let's just use the Geraldo option. Uh, the, well. Talk to Rose. Is there anything else to do in the bathroom? It doesn't look like it. Thought maybe there was something in there that could like raise our temperature or something, make it. That's what I was curious about. But there's, there's like nothing. Yeah, yeah or lower human... our temperature, like match the, to find a way to match the human temperature. There is there's literally it's nothing to interact with. Degrees. <laughs> it was a big fever. Yeah, I'll probably die in an hour, so can I be in Canada before I die, please? What the fuck would you want that? So I can say, hey! You didn't take much convincing. Before At Marcus least he said I acknowledge like what Mar the way Marcus is going about it is fucked. Cause that that thing with Hank on the Yeah, that that, that thing on the Hank on the first half window sets. You have no questions how uh, uh, Hank uh, uh, ended up on negative forty nine. I mean 
I mean, other Connor. I, I just assume the other Con. Yeah, I was gonna say I, I just assume the other Connor brought him there because he predicted what we would do. Because yeah, Amanda we was. Just play the, the, no, we just play the waiting game. Sacrifice Jerry. Bye, Jerry. Went right for it. Jerry just looked at us like. Next, please. Probably gonna be some QTEs here. Get ready. I mean, there was an option that said no sacrifice, but I don't believe them. ID? Yeah, Jerry's not part of our family. He's just an acquaintance. Is she alright? She's cold. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong right now. Welcome to Canada. He's wrong in, the ex yeah. in like 20 We're seconds. We're Canada. Think of all the fun things we could do. We could apologize and say sorry. We can say no. A at the end of everything. No, you have to say it right. You have to say sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, that's ex That's literally what happened. That's yeah. what, that's, yeah, because uh, Alice and Luther liked us surviving. <laughs> there we go. See, everyone gets a happy ending this time. What about them? <laughs> Army. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> Hold on. And it seems that huge crowds are leaving the city. It's an exodus. Much of Detroit's population are trying to escape the fighting however they can. It's a disaster. An unprecedented disaster. For the first time in history, a U.S. city is falling into enemy hands. Today, November 11th, 2038. Several million androids invaded the city of Detroit. They were already here, though. Faced with the threat of mass civilian casualties, I had no choice but to order our armed forces to retreat. The events what? in Detroit have changed our world forever. Humanity must face a new reality, the emergence of another intelligent life form. <laughs> the we fuck? must share... May God bless the United States of America. <laughs> we didn't even have to blow up Detroit. <laughs> you did it, Marcus. Don't forget we hit a dirty bomb. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. To listen to us. And Marcus gets to keep his uh robosexual life partner. Yeah. See? Much better ending. Causing mass genocide means you'll get what you want. <laughs> It's good for speech. I don't know if we're ready for this. Uh, well, first Marcus has to kiss North. Is is our tie on straight? You don't have a tie. <gasps> Fuck! Why do we have to kiss North? We should kiss Connor. Oh, 
Oh, the, the Amanda thing is in her brain, I think. Like, it's a Mindscape thing. Amanda? Amanda? What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! No. There's got to be a way. Oh. Can we, like, seppuku ourselves or something? What can we do here? It looks like we're, like, trapped in here. Trapped in our mindscape. But there's a thing over there. I actually thought we were at the end. I'm going to be honest. Was it expecting more uh, gameplay? That's, that was a side interesting reveal that like, oh, this man is just in a brain. It makes sense they'd have a failsafe in, in place, because we're incredibly advanced android compared to the rest. Did we make it or what? If they really want peace, yeah. they okay. must free all of us okay. from every camp across this country. They must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today will live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history. We are alive. And now we are free. Yay! Look at all those. Jesus, look at all them. They're so white. Detroit will be our capital. But there's a snowstorm. They're going to get lost. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now we're Back. seeing. I guess we're seeing the epilogues. No care. Yeah. Probably. We're already in Canada, so we made it. Yeah. So fucking tall. <laughs> Stop standing over the kneeling people. Just can't even do a droop hug. I'm just gonna stand over you. <laughs> He's gonna look at the camera and go, "I'm an echidna." Detroit become human. I'm guessing we'll get a different post credit scene this time. Oh, yeah, are these the credits. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're gonna get a different post credit scene, I imagine. So yeah, there we go. Much better ending, because genocide gets the results you want is the moral, I guess. <laughs> Hank's the, writing the made... Way, the, what's up? By the way, there are people who fail that Connor section the I was gonna ask, what happens? I mean, I mean, and that's just it. And then it probably gives you the same post credit scene where Connor gets deactivated or something. I mean, Connor, Connor dies too. Yeah, they literally said like, um, 
Well, congrats, Nomi. We didn't have to reload at all. I was coming into this like, okay, I'm gonna have to reload like 15 times. Birthday magic. <laughs> but yeah. Um, Hank's whole thing, though, where, like, even Rose's son was like, I don't like the way Marcus is going about this, but I think his cause came from a good place. It's like, Hank didn't even say that. It would have made more sense for Hank to be in that position. But yeah. Hank's like, no, robot freedom. You all are alive. No, it's like, dude, you are aware they've killed so many fucking people, right? Give Clancy Brown a bit more money, have him record, like, two more lines talking about if Marcus was a genocider. Yep. Yeah, all he has to do is say, I do think you all deserve to be free, but there was a much better way to go about this. Just something. Well, I guess that, I guess then the, then Hank might have less reason to stop us from assassinating Marcus, I guess, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. What's they that def they could have They could have figured something out. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, and uh, Defenders of the Realm, right? Yeah. Apparently, Kara can rob the that store at gunpoint from the near the beginning. <laughs> Holy shit! We could make every robot a killer. We could make every robot a killer. <laughs> well, there you go, person who asked us to replay at least some of the roots. Uh, that their, their username W Liquid Snake, with a bunch of numbers. Hope this at least. Makes you a little happier. I mean, I, I mean, I'm happy. I got. We're not, we're not replaying the whole fucking. No, 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 no. We're not. Like they, they were like, hey, the other routes are worth seeing. It's like, yeah, we'll we'll redo this. We'll meet you halfway, man. So hopefully that's good enough. Because I, mean, I, I at least like that last ending was that was depressing. <laughs> that was too sad. Yeah, yeah. Because all we're gonna have is one post credits. I mean, also we're gonna look at the extras, the two. Yeah. We'll see what we could buy. Should have all the money. But first, hi Hank. The only human in Detroit. Rained. Oh, they hugged. That it? Now we're at the second threat. I will, if Hank was Okay, yeah, so my, see, much better ending. And um, Hank's character arc makes sense. You just need to fine tune it a bit more with that shit with Marcus, like I said. Because it's like, because of Connor, he got over his prejudice against robots and started seeing Connor as a true friend by the end. Because, I mean, it makes sense that you make sure his... Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense um, that they concentrate on Hank's progress with Connor since it's the buddy cop thing, but not that. Yeah, be I, I've said this. I think I said this in one of our parts. Um, but I do think Cage is best at writing cop or detective characters because he he's got a good way of making them likable. Yeah, you you did mention that. Sometimes, not any of the other cops. Well, I mean, oh yeah, but I'm talking like the ones you're playing as is what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like that's Jaden. Jaden's Jaden uh, everyone's favorite character at Heavy Rain, and this is obviously, obviously Connor and Hank. Um, I, Indigo Prophecy. I know you have detectives in that, and from what little I do remember, I, I like them a lot too. And in Beyond, it's nobody. Yeah, and Beyond, it's fuck you. So. I did, I yeah, I, I don't. I yeah, we'll we'll see that eventually. So yeah, don't spoil I've, it, I've never actually played um, myself. So and and, and what better person to play to play a game all about Simon Says than no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I know that's the meme name for it. Yeah, no, it's, I've heard about it. It's not a meme. You're, you would, the QTs are all literally. No, me memes can be reality as well. Yeah. But um. In fact, the memes yeah, are fun. 
views uh, are better when they are reality sometimes. The plot starts losing its shit when superpowers are involved. Oh, I will say uh, in this one though, back to Detroit. So far, Kara is probably the female character Cage has made us play as that I, I, I guess you could say liked the most. I mean, because Madison think, was kind of nothing well, I, a lot I of think the time. It's also because like Kara had Jody was well, let's, to do shit with. Yeah, that too. But but Jody was yeah, fuck Jody. So well, it, no, the, uh -oh. Beyond was irredeemable. Uh, so, what you're, so what you're saying is the detect is the detective from Indigo is gonna probably be the best sort. Yeah, I, I do remember well, the detective I, in that being yeah, a chick. I, I, like I remember oh, it being a buddy cop, thing. Yeah. buddy cop thing. Well, we'll see that later, I guess. Uh, oh, hold on, are the credits over? No. Oh, I thought they were going. fuck. No, that's just music going down a little. Keep on giving. Well, and giving and giving and giving. <laughs> No, but yeah. Again, I, I really like this one, especially after Beyond. Well, like, that's the thing. This had moments of, of course, being pretentious. Anyone could see that. Like, well, oh, the, the robots, Cage, you know. Cage can't help himself. Yeah, ro but... look, robots are being oppressed. They're forced to, to, uh, to the back of the bus. Like, oh, I get it. It's literally on the nose. All we need is a fucking robot. Oh, wait, he did have a character named Rose who was a black woman going on about race prejudice and stuff. See? So I was going to say Rosa on a bus. Yeah. Like, he was one step away from that. It was that on the nose. <laughs> that being said, though, I still next, think the... What's up? Now, next time on, on the case first, it, it, it's a murder mystery, but alien. What? That sounds amazing, that but yeah, so... So I, say, I think the good far out is the bad on this one. This is one I, I really enjoyed. And I like what we did with Marcus, where it's like his whole thing came from a good place, but it obviously ended up so, really fucked up. Um, obviously, I don't need to ask about Beyond, but where's this like, in comparison to Heavy Rain for you? Um, I don't know, actually. Because I've seen some people say this is their favorite cage game, and I can kind of see why it, it might be up there for me right now. Because well, just in terms of entertainment factor, I mean, and I really like the Connor and Hank shit. I mean, I guess uh, I mean, later because I mean, everyone says that. Yeah, and Marcus was just—we made him such a fun villain to watch. <laughs> like yeah, I'm he, not gonna lie. He probably would. He probably would have customized Marcus, which is which is why he, he's. Yeah, see, like, that that, that works, too, like, with Marcus. He might have been a bit more boring if we had gone for the peace. Pacifistic, approach. yeah, and, yeah. Like, who the fuck wants that? No, we want, we want it to be silly. It just made the story come across as really fucking stupid. <laughs> it did. But, hey, that's the whole thing. Like, everyone knows... Pro that's the cage problem. Well, no, I was going to say, like, the whole protest things ending up violent, you all know. Yeah. I don't need to say anything to that. <laughs> uh, so what the, f the Japanese is Latko was someone named Naomi. It's an, I mean... First of all, how is Naomi a Japanese name? First, I don't... Maybe it is. I, I, hope, I hope someone's like, hey, I'm Japanese and I'm Naomi in the comments or something. <laughs> Then I will pause. Hey, Naomi's only behind. a few letters off of Nomi. You should relate, man. I don't relate to the lot, though. Do AIs deserve citizenship, and will marriage be next? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Marcus, you know. Once you don't let everyone die on your ship. Yeah, like, this is how it worked out. Although Josh getting his whole heroic send-off, technically. I was just kind of hoping that we'd, like, pull off his head and throw it at him being a dude, and that would be amazing. Yeah, I'd be like, oh shit, that it just explodes or something, robot shrapnel everywhere. That would be fun. 
But speaking of Marcus, you still need to do that uh, explanation. Oh yeah, so Marcus, uh, if we did explain. So, it's funny because someone was bringing up the True Crime games uh, a couple weeks back. Like, you ever play those? Yeah, so True Crime Streets of New York, the main character in that is named Marcus. And I'm terrible at driving at those games, obviously. Even back when my vision was much better. Are you and be there's a, yeah, there, it's when you're driving and there's a guy in the back. Yeah, you're driving with a guy in the passenger seat, and every time you crash into something, he just shouts, Marcus, what the fuck? <laughs> so I had to hear that like 800 times, and me and I started quoting that to each other ever <laughs> since then. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, and then eventually he'll just go, like, if you actually accidentally hit a civilian, which obviously I did, he just goes, oh my god, Marcus, what have you done? <laughs> 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 Yeah. But so, it's one of those stupid things that stuck with us because of that. Hmm. That is Christopher Yeah. True Crime oh. Games should get ported, honestly. Like, I'd be cool. down for that. That could be fun. <clears throat> I mean, Sleeping Doggies got ported, and that's basically part of the same series. Yeah. Now oh, the, the credits, credits song are... ended. I think we're finally done. We sat through the whole credits this time. Oh, all done. How many no, points do we have? It, 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 was, it, it was in name only. Oh, okay. They were just using it as an IP. Alright, alright, alright. What do we get? What's Lot our result screen? Many points. Well done. Marcus points now. Marcus points at you. What a Two, guy. 20... He's gonna wink at the camera! He's turning this way! Oh, nice. We got 22,600 points. So let's see what we can actually get with that. All right, we're gonna look through the extras real quick. You sure you don't want me to restart share play so you can see this style? Or yeah, there might be. The yeah, the, there might be yeah. another dark messenger. Oh yeah, there is. A, it was the dark sorcerer dolphin. Yeah, dark dark messenger. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, well, that, that, that's the magazine. Yes, Apparently. Let's, let's play of the messenger. Apparently yeah, there's 46 total magazines we could have found. Well, you killed too many people to find. Yeah. Wait. Why Why can't I... I could unlock the gallery for some of the people we've encountered for 150 points each. People are cheap. <laughs> yeah. Uh... I just want to see if there's anything in here that's like 20,000 or something, like the ultimate prize. Hold on, let's it's see. Like it's... We could... Sp we no, could... I don't want the OST. We don't want to do that. A, a soundtrack is twice as expensive as a person in the gallery. The fuck? You could just look that shit up for free on YouTube. Art packs for 300 each, so the same as soundtracks. This sets artwork. Yeah. Let's see, video. Short movie oh, of Kara in 2013. Kara in 2013? What the fuck? All right, short, that might be worth short looking Short movie of Kara 20... Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll come back to this in this debut Yeah, because that's probably a prototype for something. 2015, Discovering Detroit, Meet Kara Mark... Which I assume these are, like, making of things. Detroit, an interactive story. The making of Detroit, the soundtrack, a short... A Detroit short about with Chloe, Luther, Zlatko, and Komsky. Wait, how long are these shorts? Are these are actual, like... Let's click on the Luther one. It's Luther. And I guess if yeah. these are actual movies, you could rehost SharePlay real quick. Well, these are liter it literally says yeah, in videos. Yeah, so it's... Yeah. I guess we'll check I mean, these out. Again, he's got stream, so it's up to die. Yeah, but if there's talking and shit... Alright. Following Shakespeare's before the story of the game. Alright, so I guess we'll we'll watch these sh short movies, depending on how long. If it's like 20 minutes a piece, we'll see. I doubt it. Singing to us. I mean, you wish 
Idris would sing at you. <laughs> Got a beautiful singing voice. Gonna sing to us this whole time, isn't he? Well, remember the whole thing before the game was he was working for Zodako, but he wished he could break free. Yeah. It's an entire song and everything. Oh, other androids. It, it's Luther's backstory, man. It's the short on Luther. I'm guessing these are all the androids that Lacos fucked up. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think it's all the ones that he enslaved and treated like shit. Look, I just want a toaster waifu, okay? That's it. I mean, the one next to Luther looks your type. No, not that's not what I meant. I'm gonna punch you. You don't. Uh, they go uh, out into the kitchen. What are you talking? What are you talking about? This is before the story. It's not like that's Kara. Oh. oh. It was just some Asian girl. So it was just some Asian thing. Hey, Asians are hot. Oh, yeah, it's just like shot an in-game engine and then it's like this, the game is coming so, to that. Yeah. That's gonna be the extras. Yeah, is, is that really it or all of them like this? I mean, we can try one of their, uh, we can, let's try, let's try Kamsky. Who the f wait, which one was Kamsky? He was the traitor. Oh, alright, maybe he'll tell us, maybe he'll actually monologue about how these were made or something. I don't it's know. another song, if it's another musical number. Well, it's only 300, it's... In the space of a few years, oh no, it's actually talking. ...have completely transformed the world in which we live. By letting androids into our homes and factories, the CyberLife company has made them everyday technology. The founder of CyberLife, Elijah Kamsky, is a very discreet man, despite being the CEO of the highest valued company in the world and being voted man of the year by Century Magazine, he remains a mystery for most people. That's why we at KNC are so excited to be here as CyberLife opens its doors for the first time. Elijah Kamsky, could you please tell us where we are? Certainly, welcome. We're currently in CyberLife's production center in Detroit, where all models are designed and manufactured. More than 10,000 androids come off the production line every day. Fascinating. Could you tell us what your goal was when you founded CyberLife? Hmm. Well, I simply wanted to use technology to carry out all of our most annoying and repetitive tasks so we'd have more time to enjoy life. I imagine you must have faced many challenges. Yes, there were technical challenges, but the hardest thing was to design an object that we want to welcome into our homes. We had to imagine a machine in our own image that resembles us in every way. That moves, breathes, blinks like us, but yet is smarter and more capable than any human being. Let me show you around. Then that was the problem. We're here in production unit four. Could you explain in a few words how the oh androids are made? Sure. Yeah, it's very simple. We use machines to manufacture machines. The removal parts are assembled on a production line, and then we apply a synthetic skin to the whole body. A human operator checks the cognitive abilities with a pre-established protocol, and finally, the android is conditioned and sent out throughout the country. Here's the result. Say something. Hello. I am a RC-400 model. How can I be of service? You can go now. Our 
androids were replacing humans in many fields. For example, they represent more than 80% of all university professors and 63% of all medical staff. Tomorrow they'll replace our soldiers, and who knows, maybe one day our leaders, to make the best decisions in humanity's interest. Yes, yeah, so right there. He was talking about the androids replacing leaders. That's why, like, if the, the president turned out to be a robot, that would have been interesting. What do you think about the situation? Uh, <laughs> okay. The first steam engines also caused an increase in unemployment. But no one today would imagine turning back the clock. Artificial intelligence makes everyday lives easier. Nothing can stop progress. What's happening here is inevitable. It's kind of my stance on the whole AI thing. Yeah. I understand people are worried about it, but I think it's a little too early to get said about it. Everything's much easier with an android. If you all out there disagree, that's cool. Just, you know. They can cook, discuss philosophy with you, have intimate relationships according to your desires. They never say no. Yeah, they do. They are the perfect partner. Everyone deserves happiness. Why deprive yourself of so-called moral reasons when a machine can make you happy? Many science fiction books tell the story of how machines become more intelligent than us and end up confronting us. <laughs> Aren't you worried about that possibility? I understand the irrational fears about artificial intelligence, but I assure you. That will never happen with a cyber life android. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> They're the machines. They can't ever develop uh, any sort of desires or form of consciousness. Are you sure? I'm absolutely certain. You can trust me. I wouldn't. Uh, so, if you remember when we Connor and Hank talked to him, he seemed very intrigued. By the deviants, actually. Yeah, yeah. See if the other if the other ones are like that. I don't mind watching these ones because that, that was actually that, that was interesting. that was an actual uh, thing. also also. And I'm gonna point this out to you when they were like after they were constructed and they were they were basically being like moved about in like basically boxes, like you know like Barbie dolls and shit like that. They were literally <laughs> packaged like action figures. Oh, that's funny. All right, All right. so next one. I think, what, how many are more there? There's Lotcold and Chloe, and then there's the car uh, short. All right, so who are we doing next? Lotco. All right. Yeah, there's only three more guys. We'll, we'll do these. Might as well. Yeah. I mean, at least, got to hear, at least you got to hear Idris Elba sing. So that's cool. Okay, who the hell is this again? Uh, the guy that owned Luther. Okay. Oh god, this guy gives me the fucking creeps. Torture equipment. <laughs> he is clearly not unhinged. Definitely not. <clears throat> oh god, he's singing it in a loop. He's insane. Literally, what's up? He's literally seeing while he's like cutting, while he's taking part in Android. Yeah, I do want a full lobotomy on a robot. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. You can see that Andrew's heart. So, yeah. These, okay. I think these are all just, like, basically, like, little tease, character teasers before the game yeah, came yeah. out. That's fine. We only have two left, so. Yeah. Who the hell is Chloe? Chloe is the bitch in the title screen. Oh, all right. <sighs> Guess that's we're not done I, with this bitch that's, yet. <laughs> that's why I wanted to do the others first. Alright, let's see what she has to say. What are you going to tell us? Just remember, this is our future. I prefer Lucky Chloe. What should I call you? I'm Chloe. I'm oh, there's talking. Name. Okay. Oh, uh, John. My name is John. Delighted to meet you, John. Could you tell us a little about yourself and what you can do, Chloe? Of course. I'm the first personal assistant built by CyberLife. I take care of most everyday tasks like cooking, housework, or managing your appointments, for example. Mm. And I understand you're the first android to have passed the Turing test. Could you tell us a little more about that? I really didn't do much, you know. I just spoke with a few humans to see if they could tell the difference between me and a real person. It was a really interesting experience. But this is the first time in history that man has created a machine more intelligent than himself. I gather your brain can perform several billion billion operations per second, is that right? Absolutely, but I only exist thanks to the intelligence of the humans who designed me. And you know, they have something I could never have. Really? And what's that? A soul. Okay, I actually found that a little creepy. <laughs> that that's yeah. Uh, <laughs> the way she that, said that was that. the ending. She's that's... like, you yeah. She's like, humans have a soul. We don't. And it's like, well, what? Do you want to uh, steal souls? Uh, the last shot of her was like a zoom in on her face, just looking directly at the camera too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do the car. 2013. So this must be a very early prototype of the game. Yeah, yeah, because so. the debut trailer says it's 2015. But let's see what this let's see what this is about. The following footage is a prototype on, on PS3. PS3, holy shit, that's old. All right. Yeah. Basically, this is their version of the Dark Sorcerer. Yeah. I was like looking at shit on these types of games, you know, seeing their very early, earliest concepts. So I'm always happy when like one of those early prototypes gets leaked online, uh, so we can see it for ourselves. She's being built. Can you hear me? Yes. ID. APC 897504C. Can you move your head? Give me your initialization text. Hello. I'm the third generation AX400 Android. I can look after your house, do the cooking, mind the kids. I organize your appointments. I speak 300 languages, and I am entirely at your disposal as a sexual partner. No need to feed me or recharge me. I'm equipped with a quantic battery that makes me autonomous for 173 years. Do you want to give me a name? Yeah. From now on, your name is Carl. My name is Kara. Initialization and memorization check. Now, can you move your arms? Upper limb connection checked. Now, say something in German. Ich bin ein AX400 Android dritter Generation. I wish she didn't say see Kyle. Je suis un androïde de troisième génération AX400 conçu pour être votre assistante personnelle et votre partenaire intime. Ok, now sing something in Japanese. The 
think I actually know that tune. Yeah, I do too. Multilingual verbal expression check. Go ahead, take a few steps. Locomotion checked. Great, you're ready for work, honey. What's going to happen to me now? I'll reinitialize you and send you to a store to be sold. Sold? I'm a sort of merchandise. Is that right? Yeah. Of course you're merchandise, baby. I mean, you're a computer with arms and legs and capable of doing all sorts of things. And you're Why do you call her baby a second ago? What the fuck? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I thought you thought. What did you think? I thought. Was alive. Shit, what is this crap? That's not part of the protocol. More memory components going off the rails. Okay, recording. Defective model. Disassemble and check the required components. You're disassembling me, but why? You're not supposed to think that sort of stuff. You're not supposed to think at all, period. You must have a <laughs> piece or a software problem no, somewhere. No, I feel perfectly fine, I assure you. Everything is alright. I answered all the tests correctly, didn't I? Yeah, but your behavior is non-standard. Please, I'm begging you, please don't disassemble me. I'm sorry, honey, but defective models have to be eliminated. That's my job. If a client comes back with a complaint, I'm going to have some explaining to do. I won't cause any problems, I promise. I'll do everything I'm asked to. I won't say another word. I won't think anymore. But I've only just been born. You can't kill me yet. Stop me, please, stop. Oh. I want to live. Begging you. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, he's being reassembled now. Anyone wondering why we laughed at the I want to live thing? It was an old G4 skit back before uh, they turned to I, shit. I remember that one, yeah. That also involved a toaster saying, I want to live, I want to live. To be fair, it wasn't really Kara that was the issue in the game. This is decently well done for PS3 engine. My God. Yeah. Hmm. So remember, this prototype came out ten years ago. Carl is That's right. uh, Valerie Curry. <laughs> Curry. The operator is uh, a name I can't pronounce. Tursalin or something. Tursalin? Yeah, Tursalin. Uh, so did you notice how her heart was like a quantic thing or whatever? Quantic dream. Name of the company. Well, it wasn't. Dev. Yeah. Well, it's. Okay. And so that's all the you, shorts, right? Yeah. I mean, we that's could see the debut. See. We could see the debut trailer. Nah. You want to do that, right? No, but those are those are interesting, though. What's up, though? I mean, a lot of people agree that the, that that concept trailer has a way better plot than the actual game. <laughs> I mean, it did. It, it did basically feel like the setup for the game, I guess. 
Yeah. I mean, I, I still think the game had to focus with what it was trying to do, but there was times when it got away from itself. I don't know. And the, it was trying yeah. to do something. Well, that, well, that is... Uh, just, that You have to expect that kind of thing from cages, though. I'm That's sorry. Just I'll just, is. Dude, I'll take anything over behind. Remember, guys, I was, I was fair to that game, too. Uh, all Connor right, concept art. Let's just look at the concept art of Connor, because he's, he's everyone's okay. favorite. Oh, well, then I'll have to go. Because there's there. way too many characters in this one to there's do this There's so with. many, and apparently there's like, there's like 10, there's 111, and I don't, uh, and I don't even. Yeah, there you go. Well, there's three <laughs> yeah. Connors. There's three want... Connors and three. No, four. Do, do you want Connor, Hoodie Connor, or, uh, or Fake Connor? Yes. All right. All right. To a sign on my donut. Seriously, there's so. Look at him. Look at him. RK800 release date. Uh, September, August 2038. Fifteen years from now, we will have Connors. We fucking better have Connors. What? How long ago were you we supposed to get hoverboards? <sighs> yeah. I like how variation in the. I like how some of the variation just changes, just like takes away his tie. Of all those futuristic things where it's like in the year 2015, this is going to happen. No, 2015 is pretty much Connor is a prototype named the RK800 Trade by Cyberlife. It, its initial goal is to assist human detectives in their investigations by offering them technological assistance. He is also equipped with a social module which is developed to create the ideal partner capable of integrating with any team. The what are the other mod Connor's profiles then? I, I, I mean, I guess I, I guess I can skim yeah, them and... Well, no, yeah. that's the third one. The second one is just him with a with a hoodie bee. It's probably going to talk about him being a deviant or whatever, something. The Connor model includes a physical simulation software based on the analysis of elements of the crime scene. It can thus reconstruct past events by cross-checking the evidence at its disposal. Yeah, but Marcus can see the future. Hell, she, yeah, I can. It is also the first model to offer the analysis of biological evidence in real time by direct sampling and ingestion of samples. We see, we saw that. Exactly. Also, it says by by ingesting it. So it's like, hmm, there is seminal I mean, fluid on this corpse. Does I he mean, have to like go? I mean, we <laughs> literally saw him like dipping his hand in like blood and like licking it. So, um, oh. The first time a Connor model was used in real life conditions, part of the investigation on deviants. No date has been given regarding its use by police forces on a larger scale. Okay. That was that Connor. The right, we're Connor just gonna read the three Connors, and that's it, because uh, guys can already see us. It's ridiculous. Well, it's Connor, so infil Connor infiltration. As a last oh. attempt at solving the de deviant investigation, Connor disguised himself as a deviant for the pur purposes of infiltrating Jericho. <laughs> he wears a hoodie, he's a deviant, yeah, man. And confronting the, the deviant leader. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm sure you would, lo I'm sure you would love love his jacket, though. Hey man, it's in the hood, man. All right, is that all this one says? Is yeah, no. that's every, that's everything. Uh, okay. Fake Connor is. Let's see, Connor upgraded. Upgraded Connor. That's impossible. RK nine hundred. Oh, you were no. right though. I just see RK nine hundred. 
uh, let's see, November 2038. So this takes place in like three months. Only I two, guess. yeah, only three months later. Holy shit! Technology advances fast. The RK900 is an upgraded version of the RK800. Smarter, more resilient, and sporting new features. The flaws of the RK-800 have been rectified, making this the most effective model ever created by Cyberlife. If that was the case, then why the fuck did you die like a bitch? I think that's the one in the post credit scene, isn't it, that we get? Where they're like, we've upgraded well, you, we don't need you anymore. Well, that's uh, that's also the ver that's also the version that... Oh, okay, okay, okay. I assumed it was, I assumed it was the 900 just like... Wearing the 800 thing as a disguise, but it could be either one, I guess. Because it's so not like they have. Wasn't rolled out to the post for it, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah. The I one guess. where Connor gets d dismantled. I guess That's he would have been rolled out if the fake Connor killed the uh, killed our Connor. They would have just put this guy out. So we have no idea what. Your your thing was so short because we don't know what the hell you're what the hell you have over new, old Connor. Well, that's all the Connors, even the fake Connor. Yeah. And oh God, there's so many people. Why does Hank have four things? Uh, it's, four each, it's each very it's each like kind of variation on the character. So like I guess there's one is like. Rubber. You could pick out three different shirts. Oh, oh, you mean when he's drunk and we help him get. Dress or whatever. Okay. But yeah, so I guess that's it. And probably the fourth one is being like, oh, this, yeah, this is Hank after he comes to peace with Son and he's friends with Connor and all that shit. And the first one is depressed. The first one's probably just the one he starts in. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, well, something like that. Either way. I, 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 don't, he, I don't think he changed out of that shirt you picked for, for the rest of the game. <laughs> oh, I did not notice because I was just so used to it. It worked for him. But yeah, it's definitely a fun game. Um, did you like it, Nomi? Yeah, it was it was pretty fun. Again, as you said, a few things where it kind of went lost. Focus yeah, there's wonky bit, shit but... in here, but it's a cage game. Like, yeah, but I, I think def, this I is def... the close. Like from what I've seen, this is the closest he's got to actually nailing something, in my opinion. I, I again, yeah, I definitely liked it more than I did. And I, if I, I wonder how close Heavy Rain would be if like he did. Heavy Rain was were, right there too. Like yeah, Heavy Rain like, needed to definitely. I'm saying if he it. did this like thing we were thinking, where the other detective wasn't just an asshole and was actually working with titties. Yeah. Like, that might have boosted it a bit. So, who, who knows? It's all what is. And, like, and I, I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll like him to go prophecy more. I mean, I, I'd, I'd I, don't this, I don't know. I don't I, barely know right, shit about that one. I mean, right now, right now, I'd probably give this a B plus. Yeah. But, of course, you know, being able to make Marcus insane helped. <laughs> Anything to say, Ty, before we get out of here? Marcus, what the fuck? Exactly. All right, 2038. <laughs> better have toaster wife is in. I don't mean an actual toaster. It's what I thought you better earlier, though. That I wanted to stick my dick in a literal <laughs> toaster. <laughs> just go over your scriptures. You can do that right now. I don't show you have a toaster oven. Then it would just be awkward. <laughs> Tea bagging a toaster. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, this game didn't have DLC though, which is actually disappointing. This is one. I, I guess you could count those shorts as pseudo DLC chapters if you want. I mean, those all came out before the game. That's how you get a baby. Your dick would be black after that, wouldn't it? <laughs> so, bonus, Short bonus, penis. bonus question though. Which of the shorts was your favorite? Um, good question. Um, I, I guess the, what's the fuck's guy's name that made the robots? I want to call him Clancy, Kansky. but I don't think it was. Kansky. Kansky. Okay, I wanted to call Clancy. You were so close. close. That's Hank. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, because his whole thing of like, well, they'll never go eat or rogue or whatever, and it was always interesting shit to see the origin of the toasters. Me. Yeah. And it helped add more context to his whole thing of like, deviants are fascinating to me because I never installed anything in there that would make them do this. Yeah, no, that was interesting. That I know of. Yeah. I mean, he could have gotten drunk. Who knows? Maybe that's what happened. But yeah, guys. The other, the other play through down. Hope you all really enjoyed this one as much as we had fun going through it. Def definitely a good follow-up to the Beyond shit. Glad we got that out of the way early. As far as next up on the cage thing, when we get back to more cage shit, Indigo Prophecy. And we, yeah. I will be doing the uh, PS2-4 to 4 classic because it's the most convenient, I guess. Yeah, if it is. Assuming, hopefully it actually goes on sale. Yeah, I... yeah, I'll have to put Fahrenheit as a tag too whenever we upload that to YouTube. Yeah. That's so stupid. I mean, do what you gotta. <laughs> right, guys. All right. Thanks again, and we'll be back. Have a good day and all that. Bye! Bye!